welcome to this new vlog. I hope everyone's okay. Um, not too fearful of what's going on right now in the world. It's scary for everyone, especially those poor people in Ukraine. But yeah, um, happy Monday. I've just come back from swimming. And I can now finally swim with one hand on a float and the other hand pushing. And then I can also now swim with both hands. Not too far, like obviously three metres, but it's a start. For someone who like two weeks ago wouldn't even dreamed of doing it, now I can. So I'm very happy. Um, really, really good lesson. Um, I'm going to go again on Wednesday and then I'm going to go with my partner on Friday. So I can get a really good like practice. Because I really want to push for it. Because we may be going on holiday to Florida in the next couple of weeks. I know we're kind of viewing the whole situation which is going on in that area of the world of Ukraine. Like, we're not very comfortable. We will go to Mauritius, but we're not comfortable flying that way right now. Because it's a bit too volatile. Um, and, like, I don't know what would happen. What could happen in the next coming days, So. We thought it would be safer to go towards America. I've never been to America. I've travelled to many places, but the other way. Um, I've, I've travelled to places like... Actually, I can just think, where have I gone? I've gone to Spain more than once, France more than once, Belgium once, Greece, Italy, Croatia, Malta, and then I've been to South Korea, Bali, Singapore... Kuala Lumpur as well. I'm trying to think if there's any other. I've been to Iceland, Scotland, Wales. I haven't been to Ireland and I'm half Irish, so. And that's on the list. Where else have I been? Where else have I been? I'm trying to think. Switzerland. I've been to Prague, which is not a country, but a um, city. <laughs> So I've been to quite a few places, so I'm looking forward to going to the other side. Um, I know my partner's been to America many times, so, but it's just fun for a two week holiday. We want to really go and see the rocket launch in Cape, Cape Camp. Also, quick outfit of the day. I got this top in Primark, which I was quite um thing to wear. It's a sports top, but I'm the type of person who likes to wear these things with not sports balls, so I just come back from swimming, so I'm really like dressing up. Yeah, so, and I got, I can't remember where I got these trousers from. Asos, I know, but I can't remember the brand. But they're quite relaxed, chilled, really like them. And I just wore my blue night trainers with these. And yeah. I'm Currently looking up to showing you my outfit for swimming. This is my swimming costume. Really nice. Got it from Decathlon. Really comfortable. Quite expensive. I think it's like 40 quid, but oh no, it was not it's 30. It's 30 or 40, which is really expensive for a swimming costume, but this is fantastic. Like I I, I feel comfortable in it, it's great. Wearing my Zara jeans um over it. Gonna put some socks on and my boots and I've also got a jumper which I'll put on and then show you and I'll show you how I do my hair for swimming because as you can see my hair is really 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 long and um obviously chlorine and all of that I hate getting my hair wet I had to buy a new swimming hat because my other one when I was swimming on Monday rode up to like here <laughs> so all of this was exposed so I bought one for people with extra long hair people with afro hair um like this gives you a bit more room and my hair's quite long in a bun so well, that'll be good and yeah i'll be jump on in two minutes after i put on my other bits and i'm back so i've just put on this um red top from fashion over really nice it's a crop but it's also easy to take off when i get to swimming baths hair's in a bun um and i'll just put my hat over it got my hair in there but obviously that comes out due to yeah Due to stuff, I just like put it in. It's just a habit of mine. And yeah, this is the outfit. And then I'll be wearing this going home. I'll take off the swimming costume, obviously, shower there, and then wash my hair. And then, yeah, um, just put this back on because it's clean. And yeah. Hi, guys. Um, 
yeah, just it's now actually Thursday. Um, yesterday kind of got away from me. Um, just a yeah, uh, just a few things. I can now swim without a float. I can swim um, with my arms now. Obviously, not the whole length of the pool, but I did four lengths of me like swim one, two, three, stop, pull myself up, and then one, two, three with my arms. So really happy. Fantastic news, like so happy. I treated myself to these chocolates after swimming, but I'll insert a clip after this um, to show you those chocolates that I've got and um, the ones I spoke about before. Um, and yeah, so today is now Thursday. It's about three o'clock <laughs> in the afternoon. I have done my workout and that was really, really good. Um, no illness or anything, which is great. Um, I took a really long walk. So it's another tube strike in England, well, London. Um, I you going online and have a read of it all because it's just a... <laughs> But um, I walked to the place I needed to go to today and I'll insert a clip after that as well. And um, it was along a canal, which was really nice. And then I got some few things, um, just like little things. Um, <clears throat> got some like present stuff. Also got like a new protein to try, a vegan one, because I just, um, it's like a chocolate salted caramel one, which is I'm a chocoholic. But um, the other one I had didn't taste really nice, so I'm looking for something that I can switch it up with. Um, I also got some Legos, but from like a, not the Lego store, Con. If you're listening, you know, I won't do that without you. Con's my little brother. Um, and we have a pact that I'm not allowed to go to the Lego store without him. And then we, well not we actually, it was just me. And yeah, so it's been quite a nice chill day. I've been watching a few vlogs on Miami and Orlando um, because of we'll go, when we're going to go, um, just to see what there is. Um, trying to find hotels. It is really expensive. <laughs> it is really expensive. Um, but we're working on like finding somewhere that we both would like and it's not going to break the bank, which is great. Um, I'm on like a fitness thing, like... I want to lose some weight. I'm swimming quite a lot, so obviously I'm eating quite a bit. Like I've got, I'm not I haven't got a swimming lesson tomorrow, but I am actually going swimming with my boyfriend to show, which is great. Like what I can do. Um. Also, he gets a bit paranoid about me getting into anything to do with water without being able to swim. So it's kind of good to show him what I can do. So he puts his mind at ease if we ever go when we go to Florida, and I'll be out on water. He knows I can save myself. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. If possible, at the pool, I'm at the pool, I will video myself, well not me, my partner will video me swimming and I can insert that as well. Um, and yeah, also what I came on to show is this. This is a 2.2 litre water bottle. It's a gallon, I think, if you're American. I don't understand how that works, but no. I thought this would be really hard for me, but I it is now like quarter past three and I've got 750 milliliters of water left. So I'm very hydrated, but, sit, um, but I still want to drink more. I don't know if it's in the back of my head, but um, yeah, got to slow it down for myself, but I'm pretty proud of myself because I know this will be done by the end of the day. I am being very aware of like, like flushing out all my salts from my body though, because um, I still like have teas, I have coffees, I have protein shakes during the day. So that is actually accumulates to obviously liquid that you're pushing through your body. So I don't wanna overdo it. So I probably will leave about like 500 milliliters or something in here, just to give myself a bit of like, oh, this is the amount of water. Um, or I may just next for, in hindsight, just fill it probably to like, it says two, oh, sorry, 2000, just fill it to there. Um, yeah. Cause I do have like a diet, a cup of caffeine free and diet coke in the evenings and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I'm just, now I'm gonna pick up War and Peace and I need to read a hundred pages today. Um, and yeah, so I was gonna show you what I bought, but I don't think I will because some of the stuff's are gifts. Um, also I have ordered a lot of clothes for obviously Florida. So I'll do a little like what I've bought. Um, to show what I bought for Florida, um, like swimming costumes and dresses and didn't go as crazy as I usually do when I go on holiday. Cause I wanna keep kind of keep half of my suitcase empty because that's gonna be for presents. 
for myself and for people I know. And I'm trying to pack as tight as I can, but I'm glad that the work country we're going to is a hot country. So it's like 30 degrees currently out there, which is fantastic because then I don't have to carry a coat. <laughs> I will have to carry a coat to the airport though, because it's going to still be cold. Mm. Anyway, speak to you in a bit. mention I have now got seedlings they have started sprouting up and I can't believe how fast it happened like I did this on Sunday and I've already got seedlings so I've got I've got feeling that I may have some early early sprouters um of plant it's very interesting that my like flowers are the ones who've got the shoots and my vegetables haven't got nothing yet well apart from one it has a tiny little shoot but I'll show you now what they are so here they are. I'm obviously not going to open the propagator because it's doing its thing. So uh, these are, the, here they are, there's all the rows. So we've got the dahlias, the French marigolds and the black pansies. Like, so these are, that's the dahlias, that's the French marigolds and that's the pansies. The pansies only got one, or oh, actually I can see another one too. And then if we go over here, I have got a, it looks like a pumpkin, but... I'm not entirely sure if it is or it's just I didn't plant the seed low enough, but maybe. So yeah, I'm very, very happy. I'll keep you posted on the updates of my plants because it's going to get really exciting as time goes on. Yeah. Hi guys, just going to come on and close off the vlog. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe. And I'm just about to start a new one. So see you there. Bye.